Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a hypocycloid. So in drawing an, uh, a hypocycloid there are two major things that we need which is the diameter of the rolling circle and the diameter of the directing circle. So let me note it here. So for this video the, our diameter so diameter of rolling circle of rolling circle so let's uh, let's note that this is the first one so let's call this a uh, small d let's represent that with small letter d so let's give it 60 millimeter so with that that means the radius will be 30 millimeter so another thing we'll need is the diameter of the directing circle so diameter of directing circle so let's use that capital d so the capital d so I'll be using 240 millimeter. So with 240 millimeter, that means our radius will be 120 millimeter. So these are the two uh, major values that we are going to be uh, needing in drawing this hypocycloid. So irrespective of uh, your own dime, uh, your own uh, value, if your value is different, you don't have to worry. It's still the same step that we are going to follow in drawing our uh, hypocycloid. Now that we have these two values, another thing we need to calculate is the angle. Remember, if you are drawing hypocycloid, um, it's always something like this, where we are going to be having the hypocycloid, you know, within this ridge. But to get this particular angle for the arc, for the arc, the formula we are going to be using is ah, we can decide to either use the radius or the diameter. It's still the same thing. Is you can say that that's the radius of the rolling circle divided by the radius so this is big r capital r by the radius of the directing circle times 360 degrees so this is the third thing so so if we put in our values that will be 30 divided by 120 times 360 degrees so by the time we do our calculation here we'll be arriving at at 90 degrees so that means the angle here will be 90 degrees so those are the three uh once we are giving this to just calculate for this and then you are good to go so now let's go ahead and uh, start drawing the uh, hypocycloid proper and before we start drawing the hypocycloid uh please if you are new to pa academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel uh please take out time to click on the subscribe button it's absolutely free to subscribe to this channel so just below uh, this video you're going to see that rectangular button with subscribe written on it please click on it and the little bell icon beside it all right so thank you very much if you have just subscribed and if you are here to uh, please do so all right so let's get started so the next first we are going to do is we are going to draw a line so the line i'm going to be drawing i'm going to be drawing a line that is equal to the radius of the directing circle so the radius of the directing circle is 120 uh, millimeter so let me draw a line So I've just drawn this line. Now on this same line from the top, I'm also going to be noting uh, this three, uh, 30 millimeter on this line. So this is it. So that is the uh, 30 millimeter. So it's the same as three centimeter. So now let's just name this point. Let me call this point uh, point O. And let me call this point, uh, the beginning point A. Let me call this point point c let me call that point c so that means from point a to point o is um 120 millimeter which is the radius of the directing circle so having done that we are going to bring in our uh protractor to measure 90 degrees don't forget that is this angle 90 degrees So I want to just extend it a bit so that I can just to make sure that my protractor is properly placed on the line so that we can uh, to get a good or accurate result. So this is 90 degrees. So at that point, I'm going to draw a line measuring 120 millimeter. millimeter so now I'll bring in my compass 
and measure uh, 120 millimeter. So this is 120 millimeter. So from point A. So we, that's what we have there. Also from the distance from um, point O to point C. So that should be 90 millimeter. So this is 90 millimeter. I'll do the same thing. So now from point C, remember that from point A to point C is 30 millimeter. So I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 30 millimeter from that point C. So let me measure the 30 millimeter. So on this part where it is touching this line AO, let me call it point B. Point B. So from that point, so let's see how many the length. So that's six centimeter. I will also measure six centimeter. So six centimeter is same as sixty millimeter. So at this point now you are going to be having something like this. So the next thing I want to do is, you see this particular circle that I'm having, I'm going to divide it into 12 equal parts. To divide it into 12 equal parts. So in dividing it into 12 equal parts, uh, I'll be using my protractor. So you can also use your compass, you can use your protractor, any, whatever method uh, that you want to use. So just make sure you have it divided into 12 equal parts. So this is going to be a 30 degrees interval. So this is 90, 120, and 150. So those points, I'm going to draw a line through the center to the other side. So after dividing the line into traffic equal parts, now you have to pay attention to what I want to um, say now, or what I want to do. The next thing is to number this, this line, and this is the order you are going to be using. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you are going to follow it in this clockwise direction, starting from this point. So if you started from any other point, you might be doing something wrong. Don't forget, what you are doing here is hypocycloid. So let me write at the top. So hypocycloid. So this is what we are doing in this particular video. So in doing hypocycloid, this is where you, how you are going to do by it. So having done that, the next thing we have to do is, from this point O, you are going to divide this angle. Remember, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. We are going to divide it into 12 equal parts. 12 equal parts. So in doing that, that means you are going to be having 
um, 90 degrees divided by 12 and that is um, 7.5 degrees so we are going to divide this angle into 12 equal parts so I'll bring in my compass sorry my protractor rather so with that I can start marking the point at 7.5 at an interval of 7.5 so I'll pause the video and go ahead and divide it so just make sure you divide it the angle into 12 equal parts so I'm done dividing it into 12 equal parts so from point O I'll draw a line that will pass through those points so you're going to be having something like this So you keep tracing all those lines just to divide it into traffic equal parts and make sure you divide yours properly so that you can have you know, good results. Every, everything matters in what you are doing. So if we have it like that into traffic equal parts. Now, I haven't done that. The next thing to do is to bring in your compass. Now, from all those points, from all these points, from 1 to uh, to 12, you are going to trace, extend your compass to that length and draw an arc. This is what I mean. So I'm going to, from point 0 to point 11. So I'm going to adjust my compass to get to this point 11. So this is it, point 11. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw to come and touch this other side. So this arc. So you can see 11 is passing through 1 already. So I'll adjust it to point 10. So from point 10, do the same thing. From point 9. Draw an arc. From point 8 so when I do that of point 8 it will also pass through point 4 then from point 7 so you are going to be having something like this so now let's note all these lines that I project where it is touching this particular thick line you know this line that is looking thick so we are going to note those points so this point this here so let me just so let me this is going to be c0 so let's call this c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c11 and then c12 so those points, I haven't noted that. The next thing you have to do is to bring in our, our compass. But before I bring in my compass, these lines that I regret, let me number it. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So now you bring in your compass with the length of this circle, the radius of this circle, which is 30 millimeters. So let me just measure my compass to... 30 millimeter so this is on 3 and 30 millimeter now you place it on point c1 once it is placed on c1 you are going to draw an arc on, on an, uh, one so this line this is that for one you draw an arc you place it on c2 so this this is the one for two you draw an arc on it for that of three so this is that of three you draw an arc on it, 4. So this is 1 for 4. 
for that of 5. This is it for 5, for 6. For 6, this is it for 6. Then for 7. So this is that of 7. So you are going to repeat the same thing for 8. So for 7, for 8, for 9, so this is 9, for 10, so this is 10, like this, so from point 10, you are going to draw an arc on that line, from point 11, and then 12 will be on this point. So let's note those points, because that, those are the points that we are going to be joining together to form uh, hypocycloid so this is on line 7 so let me take this off on line 7 this is for line 6 5 Four, three, two, and then one. So now we are going to be joining those points together using our French curve. So I'm going to be introducing my uh, my French curve to join those points. So I'll be using the French curve to join those points that I've shown you earlier. So we are gradually having our hypocycloid. So with this now, we already have our hypocycloid. I haven't joined those points using the French curve. So this is how you go about to draw uh, a hypocycloid. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent and a normal from a given point uh, in a on the curve. So on this curve now, if you have to draw a tangent or a normal to a hypocycloid, how do you go about it? So that's what I'm going to be showing you um, in the next part of this video. So after that part, there's still going to be other uh, other videos that will also show you how to draw uh, epicycloid and the tangent of a uh, hypocycloid. And also, I'm also going to be showing, doing a video showing you the difference between hypocycloid and epicycloid. In case you are having confusion, uh, what's the difference between epicycloid and hypocycloid? I'm going to be doing a vid uh, video on that and all those videos I've just mentioned, I'll leave a link to them in the description of this particular video. So if you find this particular uh, video helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to subscribe to PE Academy, uh, please do so. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, any comments for me, uh, do leave them in the uh, comment section below. So with that, I'll see you all in the part 2 of this video, which is going to be coming up at the end of this video somewhere here. So once you click on it, it will take you to the part 2 of this video. We are going to be showing you how to draw a tangent to a hypocycloid. And we are still going to be using this same hypocycloid to draw a tangent to it so that video will come up right here if you click on it it will take you there thank you